Our first Deterian fuel rods are rolling off the assembly lines and into our storage here where we almost have 500 of them. In addition, we are now burning Deterian fuel rods in our fuel chamber, which is really good because they burn super slow and we get a lot of power from them. But welcome back everyone to Dyson Sphere Program, The Dark Fog. I am Athenon, and let's get back into our Polaris Exploration Series. Uh, we have a few things we need to take care of ASAP today. First of it being, we need to get some power generated. We are running quite the power deficit at the moment, which is slowing everything down on our planet, our research and everything else. And then we also need to pick out some research. So you know what? Let's grab some research options first. Universe exploration, we, that is probably the most important one to do. We now have purple cubes, so we can start it. The mecha core, we're definitely going to upgrade as well. Auto reconstruction marking, we will upgrade that. Energy shield, we'll upgrade that as well. Vertical construction, we're going to upgrade. Uh, pile the piler sort the pile sorter upgrade. Um, I think I do want a little more distribution range, and we are going to take a first stab at getting <clears throat> faster research speed when that's all done. So there's there's what we're going to do. We're going to queue all those up, get those going, and now we need to get our power going. So we are going to set out a power station there. This is one of our mini fusion power plants. Actually, you know what? I don't like it there. I'm just going to bring this line straight up here. And then we'll just connect all these here if we can. Nope, that doesn't matter. That doesn't work. Not enough distance between them. There we go. And now our power is fine. <laughs> now our power is fine and dandy. I'll even build another one there just to have it going. All right, and the nice thing about these is they burn the fuel rods pretty slowly as well. We have now got our first fusion power, and that's all it took was that many power plants, and we're already like almost 100 more than we need, which is pretty dang amazing. I'm going to reverse that path, cut it off there, reverse it again, and take those out. There we go. All right, so fusion power, perfect. We got that going on. We also... Remember, we put out those orbital, uh, those orbital things. We now have hydrogen coming in, as well as fire ice. So this is a, another opportunity for us to do some good stuff here, because our hydrogen is running a little bit on the lowish side. So what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and feed. We're going to bring the hydrogen out of here. Am I trying to, I'm trying to take it right across that, ain't I? I'll have to come back and power that in a second. There we go. We'll just feed that hydrogen right into there. And we got a little power here that we need to take care of. Now what we're going to do, we're just going to put a whole big power tower out there. And we will get rid of 
that little Tesla tower there, and that little Tesla tower there. And those will still run just fine and dandy. We could even get rid of this Tesla tower there. Okay, so that's feeding our hydrogen. Our hydrogen is doing much better now. And now the other thing we can do, which I'm really excited about, is we can take that fire ice and use fire ice for what it's used for, which is making more hydrogen and more graphene. So we already have graphene being made over here. Now this is being made the old fashioned way with sulfuric acid and energetic graphite. Or sulfuric acid and uh, uh, yeah, energetic graphite. Now these take titanium and graphene to make. So what I can do, is I can actually double my carbon nanotube output I can flip that path, flip that path. Because now I can take these and I can turn these into making carbon nanotubes. And what I'm gonna do with that is I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna flip the graphene path here and reverse that path. We'll reverse that path. And we're going to reverse that path. And we're going to have these making more carbon nanotubes for us. Because right now we have plenty of carbon nanotubes, but we're going to need a lot more, trust me. Trust me when I tell you, we will need a lot more carbon nanotubes. I need the ti ti uh, titanium and the graphene coming in. So let's go ahead and completely switch these up. We don't want this feeding out anymore. It's going to be grabbing the titanium off of here. Or it's going to be grabbing the graphene off of there. And then let's wrap the... Let's wrap the titanium around. And we'll reverse that path there. Shoot, that did not that that did not work like I wanted. Okay, we're gonna do this first. And then do a path like that. Get rid of that. Then we'll flip this path here. And then we'll go ahead and do a little construction like that. And that gets us the night the nice tight angle on it that I wanted. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to come over here. Actually, I'm just going to eliminate these all together. I'll just copy and paste. Let's eliminate that and that. Eliminate that line there. So this is going this direction. So I actually want this. We're going to cut this right here. That's going to be our output line for our carbon nanotubes. That's going to get rid of that line there. So we will have an output over here for carbon nanotubes. And we'll be inputting graphene and titanium there. And there we go. There we go. Perfect. And then I think what we'll want to do is, since we have such a overabundance of carbon nanotubes right now, what we'll want to do is we'll go ahead and just build another 
another small storage down here. Like, a, do a little double storage. And this one will just feed into the other. And then just feed back out again. That way we can actually be producing them. Because we're going to need, believe me, like I said, we're going to need more carbon nanotubes down the road. I have no doubt in my mind. At all. Got that damn sulfuric acid on me. Can I build that up one higher? There we go. Get that sulfuric acid put away. Oh, our planet's looking so loverly right now. You know, I, I think I put down this oil seep over this oil well over here and I never connected it to anything. I got this oil well down here that I never connected. But hey, our purple cubes are doing good, so that's always a good thing. So fire ice, that was the next thing we were gonna work on because we just eliminated all of our all of our uh we have a lot of uh we have a lot of graphene right now, but we just eliminated all of our graphene um We just eliminate all the graphene that we're making. But that's okay, because we're going to use fire ice to make more of it. Can I just make some accumulators on me? Okay, so I need steel. I need those. And I need some of these crystals. There we go. Let's make a whole bunch of those and we'll we'll start we'll get more accumulators going on. But let's set up our fire ice processing area. Cuz the fire ice is going to take chemical plants as well, which I don't think I have many of. I got 7 of them. That should do for the moment. All right, let's clear out these rocks here. I, I like to clear the rocks out because you get some free resources from them. And there are actually some achievements you get for clearing out a certain number of, uh, getting, getting a certain number of free resources from the rocks. I could build that right in here, I think. I think this would be a good area, right? Oh, Universe Exploration Level 3. View or reserves of planetary systems within six light years. So, now, if we go to our planetary scale here, boys and girls, we can go out and look at stars around us, and we can actually see what these stars have. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Canem has 42 million silicon ore. 42 million. I can't get there yet, but once we get warp engines, we'll be able to go there. 42 mil. Okay, so that's definitely going to be... This is definitely going to be an interesting... So this is a Gobi planet. Gobi planets have extremely dense carbon dioxide atmosphere. Its uncontrolled greenhouse effects cause uh, extremely high surface temps. Okay. This is a... This has a... Uh, <clears throat> an M-type star. There is uh, organics crystal... There's fractal silicon, grading, grading crystal, stalagmite crystals. So all these are like rare resources that are really good. And there's a fire ice you can actually harvest off of planets in this system too. This planet here is a savanna world. That has a... Uh, and this is a reverse rotation world. A desolous planet has cooled prematurely because its own mass is too small. And it's in reverse rotation. And then there's this little tiny one way on the outside outside skirts of this uh, system here. That's a Gelaterra. It's a cold, rocky planet. 
It does have a decent amount of building area, 100% building area on it. It does have some fractal silicon and silicon and sky and fire ice as well. So that's that's one system that we have out there. It's always fun to see when you get that first little bit. So that's three light years away. This system has a lot of iron, copper, and some silicon and titanium in it. Not much else. It does have a sulfuric acid world in it. This one has some iron, some silicon, crude oil, organic crystals, water, hydrogen, and deuterium. Oh, need, need, need four for that. That's too far away. Fractal silicon there as well. That's the one we already looked at. Fire ice, kimberlite, fractal silicon there. What's this? Oh, that's that's seven light years away. So we can't really look at a whole bunch here. There's another five light year away one. Some kimberlite ore, fire ice. Some more kimberlite ore, fire ice, opt and uh, some grading grading crystal. More grading, a lot of grading crystal there. A lot of silicon and stuff on that system as well. That takes you, okay, Ella Crab takes a little bit further. That's eight light years, five, five, eight. So it looks like we've looked at all the ones that were, are within our distance here. That one's the closest there. Canis, Canis Majoris is our closest neighbor at two light years distance. And that one's only three light years away. And that one, that one's not bad. I think, though, my favorite so far is Canum uh, Venectorium because that has... Look at all the, the silicon ore there, which is really nice because our system has literally 110,000 silicon ore left. Yeah. Yeah, we don't have that much. We don't have that much left right now. Okay, that was a very cool little thing to get. As, uh, it sort of shows you what we can get once we get out into the out into the universe. Um, I'm actually going to put these down. Let's see. I can bring the fire ice there. There we go, okay. So I can put these like right here. Oops. We got seven of them that we can do right now. To make more of those, I need steel and some glass. I got the steel on me. Glass, I don't really have that much on me. So let's go grab some glass over here. I think I noticed it's actually building up. Well, we were building up a little glass. I thought we were building some glass, but maybe not. Might be almost easier just to grab a little bit of... Whoa! Okay. This could be a problem. Yeah, that could be a little bit of a problem. All of our stone is going out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's one of the reasons we're probably not making a lot of glass is our, our stone is all leaving us at this point yeah, I had no stone coming out here at all yeah I need to go get stone resources from other planets and bring them over here and have them shipped out to this planet. We got enough coal and stuff right now. But yeah, we need stone resources and then we also need to uh, get our fire ice over here and get that going on. So let's bring the fire ice out of this, this thing here. What's the best way to get it over there? Probably like right through Yeah, probably right through down in here somewhere. 
Let's go ahead and just bring the fire alice out on this side. it down here on this side. And we can bring it all along up in here. Oh, I lost my power for this place. Whoopsie. I lost my power for the oil oil producing place. God, I could have sworn I had all brand new uh brand new uh things on those. Actually, what what is what oh, am I am I tar oh, I targeted that system all the way over there. <laughs> like why why am I, why am I showing this system all the way out here as targeted? I don't want to target that. Where's that? There we go. I just need to target something else there real quick. Okay, so let's get our fire ice going, and then when we get the fire ice going in here, <clears throat> we're gonna be making graphene out of it. And do the graphene. Oops, not that graphene recipe. Gonna do the alternative recipe. There we go. Fire ice goes in, hydrogen and graphene comes out. We're gonna need two output lines, one for the hydrogen and one for the graphene. <clears throat> Let's make this one the graphene and this one the hydrogen. And the hydrogen we can actually take and dump into our hydrogen vats over here. Actually, you know what I could do with the hydrogen? I could take the hydrogen right back over here. Hold up. Wait a minute. See, where do I want the graphene? The graphene's got to go over there. Got to get some spaghetti going that direction. I can take it straight on through here. Yep, yep, yep. I want to feed it right into the middle tower. There we go. And I'm going to reverse these again. Now that's going to feed into the middle tower and, and that's going to actually go down as the middle tower is then feeding out to here and these two towers will basically feed into that when it needs it which is not going to need it very often so there is the graphene and then we just need to get the hydrogen going
Oops, I need to take this down one level here. I need to bring this out just a little bit further. We just unlocked uh, the Mecha Core, so we now have more max energy. Mecha durability is greater, our weapon that laser fire range is more, and our damage is more as well. I always hate building over stuff like that, it's so annoying. Okay, go away. Then we can feed that into there. And that should Yep, there goes our there goes the hydrogen into there. Perfect. It's a little, a little Betty Spaghetti, but hey, it works. It works out good for us. And that should start pumping that out. And now we can copy and paste. And extend the line down a little bit further as well. We have plenty of fire ice to bring in. We should have some more power plants or some more uh, chemical factories now. There we go. And that should us with a good amount of hydrogen as well as a good amount of uh, graphene. Oh, that's good. I, I like I like having those two towers there. I guess we'll see. You know, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to reverse that path there. And then I'm going to bring this path all the way down. And then that one, I, that one I'm going to, I'm going to have it feed into this tower as well. This tower is full at the moment. That's going to sort of be my backup of the backup if I need it, which hopefully I won't. But if I need it, I got it. I'd rather need it and not have it than, you know, I'd rather I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Good God, I can't I cannot get my colloquialisms or whatever they are. Uh, I can't get those I can't get those figured out today. All right, so we got a little extra titanium, a little extra. Everything fell it fell apart here as we uh, we ran out of stone there for a little bit. I think we're still out of stone. Yep, we're still out of stone. So we definitely need to go set up a planet to start transporting stone in. That's something we definitely need to look at doing because I believe we still have some stone. We still have a good amount of stone. We got four million stone left in the in the galaxy. Um, where do we have most of that? Is that on Polaris? Three, two? Nope. Is that Polaris 1? Nope. Actually, that's on our planet here. We actually have quite a bit of stone left on this planet here. We got 4 million stone on this planet here. So I think we should just... We just need to harvest... We just need to mine more of our stone. I have a tower here already set up.
uh, local demand and remote demand for that. And I'm going to do local demand, local demand for both of those. Because I think if we go over here... Oh, wow, the deuterium fuel rods are already, already stuffed full. Loving it. Da 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 because we're going to use a lot of deuterium fuel rods here very soon. Um, so we got some coal there, some coal veins there. Got the crude oil seeps there. Got some iron there. Got some iron here as well. Where's all my stone hiding at? Oh, they're all over here. So, oh, wow, that's, so there's all my stone reserves right there. So the stone reserves are all down here. Okay, well that, that changes things a little bit. I do need to kind of get these these iron reserves uh, locked down, though. How many miners do I have? I got 18 miners? Okay. This is not a lot of iron here, but... I get all six and one. That's not bad. Oh, I didn't need that. I needed a... One of these here. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I want to harvest as much iron as I can from my own planet. If nothing else, it gives us the opportunity to, uh, to, uh, basically get more surface area on our planet available to us to build on. So, we're gonna get that done, but we did, we did get done what we really wanted to get done today, and that was set up the fire ice to be imported to the planet and to be um, now harvesting, getting that into the the better re recipe for the graphene than we were using before. Put the iron on supply there. All right. So we got the iron ready to go, boys and girls. We are out of time for this episode, though. So I will see you next time for more Dyson Sphere program. If you did enjoy this one, don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button. Check out the join button below to join the channel and become a member with other exclusive content and early access content and cool emotes you can use while we live stream as well. So I will see you all next time and have a great rest of your day.